Another Disney Marathon weekend is in the books. The final race was run this morning. Fox 35's Matt Trezza was there when the winners crossed the finish line. Just two and a half hours into the 29th Disney Marathon, overall winner Vanilson Neves from Sao Paulo, Brazil, crossed the finish line. This was his third marathon here. The last two times, he placed second. He got so close, and now this third time running, and he was able to win the marathon. And it's something that he's very proud of. He's very accomplished, and he thanked God for being able to be here today running at Walt Disney World. About 15 minutes later, winning female runner Brittany Charbonneau crossed the line. Doing this at Disney is just like soul filling. Um, it's everything. And I just had the best, the best time on every single race the entire weekend. It was mag magical, honestly. Charbonneau was also the winning female runner in the weekend's other Disney races, a 5K, 10K and a half marathon. Thousands more took part in the race through Disney's theme parks. Some were so-called perfect runners like Deborah Lazaroff, who've run in all of Disney's marathons. Disney has like, they know exactly how much Powerade to put out, how many pallets, how many pallets of water to put out. You know, they know everything to a science. And so everyone feels like they finished first. Other runners like Lindsay Tyndall took part in all of Disney's weekend races. And at the end of that one, I remember finishing and being like, if I ever come back, I want to do all of it. And now I'm here and I did all of it and I crushed it. The marathon's also something of a charity event for Disney. As the runners go, they build up body heat, and a lot of them strip off some of the clothes that they're wearing, hats and t-shirts and sweatshirts. All those get collected by Disney staff after the marathon and then donated to local charities. At Walt Disney World, Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News.